Hey, what's up? Just out here riding bike for kids' cancer research. Uh, you can donate at greatcyclechallenge.com. Um, you can donate under my page, make me look better. I'm not looking too good on the donation side, but as far as the riding side, uh, pretty much since May 9th, I've rode dang near a thousand miles. Um, I've found a new addiction. I've replaced. You know, it's crazy, you know, people with addictive personalities, you know, they have to replace, you know, addictions with addictions, you know, it's, it's just natural. Um, you know, typically an addict's not going to just stop drinking and stop dr doing drugs and just, you know, not turn to caffeine or turn to food or turn to some sort of exercise, you know, what, but that's the key though, is, you know, finding that, that boundary of what's healthy and what's not healthy. Um, I guess I just wanted to make a quick video, uh, usually I make a long one, I rant and I rave because I got so much to say, but really, um, all I really want to say today is, honestly, fuck Dr. Phil. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're if interested in Bill Burr at all, he's a pretty good comedian, in fact, he's probably number one right now, you know, right next to Dave Chappelle, um, you know, 1A and 1B for me anyway, that's my personal opinion, but... He's pretty right on point with Dr. Phil and what type of person he is. And, you know, it made me realize, I mean, I've been pleading for Dr. Phil's help for four to five months. I've been writing this guy and his producers for months, pleading for their help because I was suicidal. I was an addict. I was relapsed on alcohol. I had gotten into meth. I had gotten into a world that I didn't know I'd ever end up in. I was in Satan's playground and I was abandoned, left alone by my neglectful family. They were trying to tort me into suicide and they almost succeeded. But guess what? I came out of that fiery pit of hell and I came out as a redemption story. I came out a better man. I came out finding Jesus. I came out finding God. I came out being a light. And that's what all I want to say is I want to say, fuck Dr. Phil, you're a coward. You're a piece of garbage and you're scum. And I know why you won't put me on your show is because I'm a redemption story. I'm not someone you can exploit. I'm not some Shelley Duvall, you know, a poor actress who's suffering obviously from mental health and certain crap and all you want to do is exploit people. You don't do anything for humanitarian anything except for if, it, if it's something for, you know, your advertising or whatever, some, some fucking therapy or some stupid treatment center that you recommend because you put their treatment center on your show so that they, they just probably pay for their treatment out of just putting their sh treatment center on your show. You don't pay nothing for no one's treatment. And I know that for a fact because no one's contacted me, no one's reached out to me, no one's sent me one response saying, hey, we can't help you, but hey, maybe we know someone who can. And that's why you're a coward. You left me to die, Dr. Phil, just like my family. And that's why you won't put me on your show because you're afraid. You're afraid I'll call you out because you're a piece of garbage just like them. You know, what's, you know how, are you, how are you different? How are you different, Dr. Phil? I'm out here riding bike for kids' cancer research. You're exploiting young kids and elderly people with, with mental health issues or you exploit celebrities with addictions and mental health and you make them look stupid and you act like you're so smart and so special look at you you're so insecure you can't even shave your head you know what dr phil i was insecure too i was a i was a fear i was a fearful man i was so scared of what people would think without my hair and i couldn't wear a hat anymore oh wah wah you know what happened i found jesus i was forgiven forgiven and now i'm now i'm someone who can say I was happy to shave my head. It was a, it, it was signified me being reborn, me becoming a new man, and that was great. I'm glad that you neglected me. I'm glad that my family neglected me at the end of it. I'm actually blessed because at the end, had one of you stood up to the plate and not been a coward, I would have never found God. I would have stayed in the same hole. I would have been in the same revolving door because I would have trusted somebody. I would actually put trust into a human being. And I found out in my life that you can't trust human beings. They're backstabbing, selfish, self-centered cowards. And I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm not saying that I never have been. In fact, I've been one of the worst of them all. I'm one of the most disgusting, vile pieces of garbage that's ever walked this earth. But you know what? That was the old me. I shed that shell. And now I'm new. And now I rock. And now I roll. And now I'm awesome. I'm big, bad, and I'm beautiful. And I'm bald. And I'm proud to say I'm bald. And I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I have no fear. I walk with no shame or no remorse about what I did in the past or what's happened to me. However, I will condemn you and I will exploit you. Thank you, Steve-O, for being so bold and beautiful to finally proclaim that you found God. And you know what? I never thought in a million years that me and Steve-O in the same year would find God. Because this, about the same time when Steve-O was shooting bottle rockets out of his ass and, you know, freaking 
doing the craziest shit ever, you know, getting the crazy tattoos, snorting wasabi sauce. I was pooping my pants too, like the jackass guys, except for I wasn't doing skits. I was shitting my pants because I was dying from alcoholism, you know? And it's so sad what happened to Ryan Dunn, and you know what that is? That's a result of addiction. But you know what? It made Bam, his addiction come to a head. And it's awesome to see, how hopefully, that Bam Margera is staying sober. Shout out to Bam Margera and his, his campaign for Barely Sober. I fully support that, and I support anybody to support that, and I support everybody to stay off of alcohol. That's the deadliest drug of them all. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't sit back and drink a beer and condemn someone who does heroin, because you're no different. You, you're no different, you're a hypocrite. And you're robbing people of their souls. People deserve a chance and people deserve life. People deserve second chances and people do not deserve to be condemned by people that have no right to judge or put people down or put people in a position where they're going to kill themselves. And I wanted to make this video short and sweet. And shout out again to Bill Burr. Thank you for you know standing up for what's right. Dr. Phil is a piece of shit. He's a coward. He left me to die and I dare him to respond to me now. Get me on your show, Dr. Phil. I want to face you face to face. I want to call you a coward to your face. You're a punk. You're a bitch. You left me to die. You left an addict to die. You couldn't even give me a response. You're, right on your sh freaking site it says, our producers will read every single one. I've sent you hundreds. You piece of garbage. And now you will respond because I'm going to make sure this video goes viral. Again, thank you Steve-O for being bold. And, and, and coming out with your Don't Be a Dick video, check it out on YouTube. Very inspirational. Very inspirational. Thank you for listening. And I'm going to keep posting videos and condemning evil and being a big bright light as bright as possible in this dark world because I can't stand it. It makes me want to vomit seeing all this venom from all these pieces of garbage that put people like me down for no reason. Why? Because they're envious of me. Because I'm big, bad, bold, beautiful, and bald. And I'm going to kick ass for the rest of my time on this earth. And if you want to be on my team, you can join me. If you want to be on the sidelines, go ahead. But I can tell you that I'm going to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus, who's one of the most coolest, most beautiful outlaws that ever lived. And that's what I want to be remembered as, is a beautiful outlaw. And I'm here to say it today. My name is no longer Christopher David Englehart. I'm changing my last name. I'm removing myself from my family in that situation. My name is now Christopher David Sparrow. Sparrow is Latin for the word hope. Please follow me. Have a good day.